This is the hardest offense to stop in Madden 23. You got most. It has explosive run plays. Run. That's just too easy. Glitch routes that beat any defense. And one play touchdowns to score versus every defense in the game. Break yourself, fool! So if you guys want to see what brand new offense I'm using to get results like this. See ya! It's pretty. It's so pretty. Stick around after the intro. For the cheapest, fastest, most reliable butt coins in the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. In today's video, I'll once again be using my Buffalo Bills offense and Kansas City Chiefs defensive ebook. But this is probably the last video I'll be making about the Bills offense as I plan on using the different playbook in future videos. So let me know in the comments section what playbook you guys want me to use next. As well as what team you would like me to use, this is also the last video I'm going to be using the Jacksonville Jaguars. The teams that have the most votes so far are the Steelers, Raiders, and the team I'm going to be playing today, the Bengals. But before I get into the video, if you guys are enjoying the content and want to see more, please make sure to be a subscriber, hit the like button, and let me know in the comments section as it really helps out the video and the channel. And if you want to see more money plays from this or any of my ebooks, all you have to do is click the links in the description or the top pinned comment to have them sent to the email of your choice for instant download. The offense that I'll be using again today is the Gun Normal Y off close. This is probably my favorite offense in the game right now. And I have a few more new one play touchdowns to show you guys from this offense before I retire this formation and start a new playbook. I have made several gameplays about this offense already, as well as a full practice mode breakdown on my second channel. So if you guys want to see more about it, I will have links in the description as well as an on screen pop at the end of the video. So stick around for that. For my setup, I usually put my best receiver at this spot here as this is the receiver I'll be throwing too deep the most for the one play touchdowns. And for my audible plays, I will change the first play to the double slant and the last play to the escape play so that I have all my one play touchdowns plays in my audibles. In today's video though, I'll be running the ball a lot as I'm pretty much just going to be running the ball and throwing one play touchdowns the entire game. And that is because I won't be able to stop my opponent's glitchy offense. Sometimes the best defense in this game is a good offense. So on the first play, I see my opponent packs the box, but it looks like he's in a smaller defense and he also doesn't have a lot of second level defenders. So anytime I see a look like this, I can just switch over to the inside zone from my audibles and on the very next play, we get a 16 yard run on the very first play to get in the field goal range. I also like to set my ball carry adjustments to conservative, which could hurt the average a little bit, but I just want to make sure that I don't fumble the ball at all, all game, or at least significantly reduce the chances of that to almost zero. I just made an updated video on the best coaching adjustments to use, so if you guys want to see more for offense and defense, I'll once again have a link in the description as well as an on-screen pop at the end of the video, so stick around for that. It looks like my opponent is in my cover two man setup, so I run again only to see that he switched over to cover four to try to slow down my run on the next play. So on third play of the game, I switch over to the escape play. All I have to do is put this tight end on a streak, and it's a one-play touchdown versus both. Break yourself, fool! On defense, my opponent pretty much only runs two plays all game from the gun tight, and that's the drive corner and the famous PA cross play. What a pussy. And that's probably because he's figured out a way to make these two plays unstoppable. He switches it up to run the ball every once in a while, but for the most part, it's just these two unstoppable plays. He runs that play one more time and tries to hurdle my defender. Dang. And I guess he doesn't set his ball carry to conservative like I do. True, I bet you here. Back on offense, though, Jesse Bates is the cheat code. Oh, you mother... <laughs> okay. As I swear this guy picks me off every single time I play the Bengals, as he returns it right back to where he was before he goes right back to that annoying offense once again, getting inside the town the very next play. I stop him at the one yard line, thinking that I have a chance here, before he scores with a wide open tight end right over the middle. Damn it! On offense, since I see where this is going, we're going to try to kill some clock as we go right back to the inside zone. This run play is an inside-out read where you want to start inside and work your way to the outside, which I do on back-to-back -back plays, and you will see me doing this pretty much all game as I get the first down. I also like the motion across this receiver as it can help in creating an even bigger blocking advantage to the edge as I almost get another first down the very next play. I pick up the first down the very next play before trying to go over the top on first down and almost running into Jesse Bates for the second time this game. That was a close one. He is running a lot of cover too, so this will give me a chance to show you guys another new one-play touchdown from this offense that I haven't shown yet in gameplay from the double slant. I mostly use this play as my man-beating one-play touchdown, but it also beats cover two zone. If you motion this B receiver across and put the Y route on a streak, and if I ran it to the open side of the field or away from Jesse Bates, I probably would have scored a touchdown. 
I make the exact same motion on the next play for the blocking advantage this time, and I didn't want to score so quickly. But yeah, I like pancakes. How about you? But there was no one within five yards of me. Back on defense, I try to switch it up to a highly experimental defense that I'm trying to use out of the cover three lock. And it works enough to slow him down, but he still gets in the field goal range to end the half down four. Oh, good for you! He also gets the ball to start off the second half, and I start the drive strong, forcing him into a quick fourth and one from inside his own territory before a lit up Joe Burrow easily picks up the first down and then bombs it up on the next play to take the lead. That lead doesn't last long though as he switches over to a man zero blitz out of desperation so I waste no time as I want to capitalize on this opportunity. Get him. So I switch back to that double slant play one more time, make the exact same motion across, block the running back. Break yourself, fool! Thank you! Windows tinted on my ride when I drive in it. Back on defense and back to the same drive corner plays, he keeps hitting this speed out route in the flat as both man coverage and hard flats have no chance of stopping it. So what am I supposed to do here? God damn it! And you can tell by his stat line that that route is his entire offense as I only could force him to throw the ball away twice this entire game. So after that frustrating drive, I know what I have to do. I have to keep possession of this ball and leave him with no time left because I know that I can't stop that route. And I don't want to give him enough time with the ball to win the game. So I plan on trying to run the ball the entire drive, but I start off with a short pass as I have to mix that in sometimes to keep him honest so that he doesn't run commit. I only get through on the next carry to start the fourth quarter before I make a brand new motion with the tight end just to give him a new look and think that it's a new passing play. On third down, I motion across the B route for some extra blocking to pick up the first before I do it again to keep the drive going with another five yards. He starts really packing the box inside of running like four straight plays, so I see the opportunity to pass on the next play to get in the third and one before easily picking it up on the ground. I don't want to score just yet, but he's starting to pack the box to the point where I think that maybe I should pass. So on the next play, when I see he's in cover zero once again, I go back to the double slant, one play touchdown one more time. Break yourself, fool! <laughs> The coverage is there this time, but I make the play anyways and get down inside the one yard line before running the clock down to zero and punching it in with a QB sneak to take the lead. You like that? You like that? My opponent didn't use any of his timeouts though, as he still has 31 seconds to try to win the game. It doesn't start off very good though, as he tries to let the kickoff go to the end zone, only to see it die at the one yard line. <laughs> And now he has to go 97 yards in 27 seconds. F you! So let's see how good his offense is when he can't just hit that unstoppable speed out route for eight yards to pop every single time all the way down the field. And I'm not playing any sort of prevent as I'm still playing it aggressively from the safety spot just like I've been all game covering the open side of the field as I think that's the most likely area for the ball to go. And on the first play, <laughs> nothing. The second play, he goes right at me. How about new? On the third play, he tries to go away from me on the short side of the field. <laughs> And just like that, this dude's completely exposed. As he couldn't complete one pass with the game on the line because he couldn't use that bullshit glitch route that he was using the entire game that made him look good. You suck! As he rage quits just like the rest of them while I'm deciding how I want to score just to rub it in. Good, then get the hell out of my life! Who needs you? Beat it! So, that's that's the video. If you guys enjoyed the content, please make sure to be a subscriber, hit the like button, let me know in the comments section. And if you want to see more from the offense that I was using or the coaching adjustments that I was using in today's video, I will have them popping up on screen right now. Other than that, thanks for watching, man my shit out. We just want to show your support, then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.